So we talk about intellectual property, and this is great. You know, we have all these YouTubers, we have podcasters, we have self-published authors now, we have all this amazing content that's out there, but there's never been this connection. And that's where uh, we really look to, to conquer and enter this market is, is to connect people together. First and foremost is connect creators and, and the world's greatest creations with the fans, with consumers, with people, the stuff that we use. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I, I consume things, I use things, and it's I just always feel like a viewer, a consumer, and sometimes I just want to help them out, participate, engage, Star Stake, uh, which is one of the very first applications on the Energy DeFi financial system, uh, does exactly that. Now, it would not be possible, let me tell you guys this, it would not be possible if we didn't, if we didn't have energy. Energy serves as the bank, okay? So I, I like to look at this as layers, just to give you context. The first layer that had to be done is energy. Energy being the, the financial system, the bank, the, the, the thing that allows us to, to do all this great stuff. Without it, none of this is possible. So we had to build a financial system, which includes smart contracts and tokens and, and different economics to allow this all to happen. Think of it like the Apple company. It's the bank. It's the thing that uh, allows us to all share and participate. The second layer is technologies. There had to be technologies developed because it didn't exist uh, that are going to allow us to do the things such as you're going to see here with infinity NFTs uh, and stabilize NFT currencies and all this stuff. So we had to pa literally patent the technology. It was so significant um, that we had to have these technologies developed. And once we had that developed, the third layer and the final layer is the applications that use that. So you think of Apple, that's the bank, that's the company. On top of that, you have their tech, which is your iPhones, the, the touch screen, the iMessage, the FaceTime, all the, the inside stuff. And then on top of that, you have all these great applications and things that they sell. Okay, the usability factor, the accessibility, that's how Apple grew it. The same thing goes with our ecosystem, energy being the decentralized finance component, our technologies, which include infinity NFTs uh, and NFT bucks. And then on top of that are the apps such as Starstake. Now, Starstake, which I'm going to demo for you, is significant because of, as Dwayne talked about, the IP industry. And typically until now, we as consumers and fans haven't been able to connect with uh, or financially connect with any of the stuff that we use or consume. That's going to change for the very first time. Now, you've heard of NFTs. You guys are familiar with NFTs. Uh, put in the chat, if you would, please, that you know, yes, put yes if you know what an NFT is, put no if you don't know what a non-fungible token NFT is. Give me some idea of who I'm talking to here real quick. Yes, 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 lots of yeses. Thank goodness. You know, if I would have asked this question six months ago, it'd be all no's. How crazy is that, right? That's like asking, do you know what a telephone is? Of course, everybody knows. It amazes me that everybody in this chat knows what an NFT is. Either that, either you guys have been watching our videos for a while here, or you're just smart and you've been tune with what's going on in the world. All right, so NFTs typically, as you know, are just these non-fungible tokens that allow us to, to assign ownership and certify ownership of digital assets for the most part, right? Basically, what we do different, our technology here, if you're new to this, is Infinity NFTs, just an NFT with a staking contract inside of it that allows it to distribute royalties to people, okay? So again, it's just an NFT with a staking contract that allows you to receive royalties. That's what it is in, in, in a nutshell. Why that's important, because now for the first time, I could, I could buy an Infinity NFT for a song and be able to receive royalties on the success of that song or that YouTube channel or that podcaster. And that gives a YouTuber or a podcaster or an author the ability to create instant revenue for themselves from their fans who stake that asset that fan gets now to be part of the process, be part of the success, be part of all this great stuff. And now there's this ultimate connection made where it's not just, you're not just a buyer of that thing, or you're not just watching a YouTube channel. You actually have a vested interest in whether they succeed or not. How amazing is that? You don't have to go through a Kickstarter. You don't have to go through uh, publicly traded companies and deal, deal with stocks and all these things. It changes the game, guys. It really, really does if you understand it. So our technology, which is Infinity NFTs, does that, okay? And so that's really what Star Stake is, is how do we then package that ridiculously awesome new tech into something that people can use and understand that's beautiful, that, that can kind of 
I guess just go into the world that we currently live in and not disrupt it too much to where people get confused. Okay, because crypto can be confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick two and a half minute trailer real quick to explain what Starstick is. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough demo, which uh, I've never done. I've never showed front to back Starstake yet. You're going to see that here right after this video. In the beginning, humans looked to the stars for answers, a view of where we came from, and in some ways, what we can become. Today, when we look to the sky, we wonder if we're alone and how far we can go. We've come a long way in the last 20 years, creating experiences that through art and technology have transported us to discover new stars of all types. Some stars help connect and bring us together, Others transport us to all new worlds with breathtaking adventures. We see stars as greater than life figures, magical moments, and fantastical achievements. We live amongst these stars every day. Crafting star steak, we are reminded that the things we love most don't come from the stars above, but from the ones all around us. Starstake is the first NFT-based royalty marketplace, bringing the world's greatest creations and its creators together with fans and consumers to create even greater opportunities. More than that, Starstake is about access, an entirely new economy built solely on our connections to the things we use and enjoy. Starstake is something we've dreamt of having, and it's only now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the experience to push our creative boundaries even further. In it, we invite you to join Astra, the official prologue to your journey into Starstake. For the first time, we'll provide an inside look at what makes this next generation platform so important and how you can forge new connections to your great creations. As a fan, discover new opportunities inside the NFT-based marketplace with access to your favorite stars, rewards, and royalties. We have a lot to share. Together, let's begin the journey to go beyond blockchain and explore the possibilities of our progress as creators and consumers. We hope you'll join Astra to find your way to Starstake and go with us on the journey to discover the next generation of startups. So there you go. That is uh, that was the first official video for Starstick. Uh, pretty proud of it. The team did a great job building this. Um, and that kind of gives you an overview, the scale of what we're looking to do here. Uh, but what I want to do now, rather than talk about it, I'm going to show it to you, explain how it works really quick, because uh, I think that's what everybody wants to see the most. So let me go ahead and do that. To preface, again, Starstick is an application built on the DeFi financial system. How that affects each other is the financial system gives it the economics, the, the financial abilities to do what it does, the tokenomics, the tokens inside of it, even though inside of Starstick, we actually created it to shelter people from crypto, meaning you really won't ever have to deal too much with cryptocurrency, even though that's what is being used in the background. And this application generates its own revenue. This will generate lots and lots of revenue on its own. And because it's connected, underlying under the hood, the engine is energy, essentially, that all those economics, all that revenue from star stake will affect the value of the tokens, the value of the financial system, because it's just its own business, its own company on top, built on top of it, if that makes sense. Okay. So here, let me show you just real quick. So when somebody goes to star stake, they'll be able to go ahead and register. There'll be a website, marketplace, et cetera, which I'll show you, but there will be a, uh, basically just a, a process that they go to to get started. So they'll just connect their wallet. Um, when they do that, uh, that's a smart wallet, like a MetaMask, if you're familiar. Um, they'll put in an email and a nickname. And what that does is it connects their, their email to their wallet so we can communicate back and forth. That's really important in Starstick. Um, and then they'll sign in, which connects that together. And then it'll ask them to choose who are you. So whether they're a star, maybe somebody who owns intellectual property, or are they uh, a fan that just wants to shop around and check things out? So let's just say that I am a fan. 
Okay, so then it brings them to this page and all this page does it has a video that shows them how do I invest, how do I buy infinity NFTs, what do I do here, what is this thing this star stake thing all about. Okay, this is the onboarding for people just to register for an account and get started, they can watch this video and then they can go over to the marketplace, that is the basic getting started process all right. And let me show you how they where they go from there so this is so if you can see my screen this is the marketplace this is star stake marketplace um, you can browse different categories there's music creators arts experts sports tech and products those are the categories of intellectual property all right um, on here you can just uh, browse through different types of infinity nfts okay intellectual properties you can do searches etc and after you do that, you can go ahead and go to a STARS profile page. So a big thing about Starstake, unlike any other NFT platform, is if you go to OpenSea, for example, which is a marketplace that does about $3 billion a month uh, in revenue, think about that. Um, it's all, all the pages are the same. You have the same page, you have a little image that represents that NFT, and that's it. What we did is we took a creative approach to this saying, hey, these stars, these people, these YouTubers, they want to showcase their brands, their personality, their art. And so we want to give them the ability so they can actually, this is an example of a profile page. Uh, this is my fiance, Shang. She's a beautiful musician. Um, this is her profile page. And because she's also an actress and she's in commercials and things, she can actually create an INFT for her likeness, meaning you can stake the person, Shang Belmonte, and when she's in commercials and when she has merchandise or when she does things that have to do with her personal image, you can earn royalties on her success for that. How cool is that? Right? So it shows a little bit about her, her music, her different INFTs. She also can mint her own currency, which I'll show you inside here. If this was hers, you would show what she had here, which you could use and buy. And then it shows other artists. So every person can create a profile, whether or not you want to create an NFT for your likeness or not. So people can get to know you, who you are, who's the person behind the IP, if that makes sense. Who's the artist behind the art? Okay, so then from there, let's say I wanted to go to one of her INFTs. So if I want to say, hey, what's her INFT for her new song, for example? Um, let me find a different one. There we go. So let me know is her new release. She actually just this is gonna be one of the first INFTs on Star Stake. You can go here, you can watch a video about about her song. You can see how much has been staked already, how many people. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see an image representation of that. And that's what you're gonna see in your wallet if you purchase. Um, it shows what the royalty percentages are, all the stats on it, all those kinds of things. Um, and then as you scroll down, you'll see, you'll see information of, of basically just an overview about that Infinity NFT. Uh, as you scroll down, you see details, okay? The contract address, typical stuff, NFT stuff. But then you're gonna see something called rewards. This is a big deal. Rewards is something that we inserted that really have to do with our access economy. You've seen Gary V. How many of you have seen Gary V's uh, v Friends application? Put in the chat if you've seen it. If you've seen V Friends that Gary Vanderchuk does, are you familiar? Put yes if you have, no if you have not. I'm going to reference that because it's really important. All right. So Gary Vanderchuk, what he does, he created V Friends, and all he did is created these sketches. He he sells these sketches for seventy five. Some of them are seventy five, a hundred thousand dollars a piece. Why is why in the world would somebody buy a sketch for seventy five grand? Well, here's why. It's not that the sketch is worth that. It's what's inside of it. He gives you access to his events, to dinner with him, to playing basketball with him, to other IP. It's about access. Well, the average person can't do that. With Star Stake, you'll be able to. So if I'm a podcaster, or let's just say I have a YouTube channel and I create an Infinity NFT, I can say, hey, if you stake $100 or more, I'll give you fan art, I'll give you updates, I'll give you this, 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 and this, right? You get an access token with that stake okay and i can go down here and i can say okay what do i get for 500 and maybe there's other things that i would get so there's these different access tokens that you can give that that increases the value of your original asset okay um you can see updates about those things you can even chat within here all right so up top here let's say okay i want to stake uh shang song and i'm going to do a hundred dollars i can put a hundred dollars in here Okay, and I can go ahead and stake now under this access reward. So I'll get the royalty contract, you know, maybe I make 15% on her song royalties. Um, plus, I get all these cool rewards with that. 
Well, here's the challenge. This is another piece of technology we put into here. Is paying with crypto is confusing. It's not the best way to make transactions. Okay, would you guys agree with that? It's difficult. You have, first of all, the volatility. If I were to go and teach somebody how to buy crypto, get a wallet, and then I say, okay, you're going to stake $100, but that actually means 100,000 coins or 1.2 million coins or whatever it is, right? There's these decimals and the price is going up on and down all the time. Um, so it's confusing for a consumer, not to mention the gas fees, which can cause problems. We all know how that goes. So what we did is we created, literally invented a technology. My, my hat, it's not me. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed on some of this stuff, but my partner, Alan came up what's called NFTBs. It's the first NFT based stabilized currency. Okay. And what I mean by that is you can take an image and I'll show you, for example, uh, let me open it up. So you can go inside of Starstake. You have to use what we call NFT bucks to purchase anything inside of here. You don't actually use crypto, even though there's crypto inside. So I can come in here and say, okay, I need to get some NFT bucks to be able to stake Shang Song. So I can add a $10 buck to my cart and there can be different designs. These are just some of our designs. Okay. And I can choose them. I can add them to my cart. All right. So it just goes ahead and it adds my bucks into my cart. So here's a couple $1 bucks. I can go ahead and check out with that. And I can browse other collections. So I can go to the collections area. Maybe Shang has her own. She can mint her own customized money, basically, within Star Stake. So instead of spending Chris bucks, you know, I can buy Shang bucks and stake her music with her own bucks. And maybe she has some that are rare or collectible. So maybe if you're a fan of uh, Justin Bieber, for example, I don't know why I always use that example. It's silly, but um, I could buy Bieber bucks, right? And maybe some of those Bieber bucks, there's only a hundred that are ever minted in the world or five of them. So they're very rare. So maybe a $10 buck um, I can hold on to might be worth a lot more. But the cool thing about this, you guys, these will always be worth the face value. I want you to understand something here. Inside of each one of these images is cryptocurrency, which is energy and energy go. Our coins are inside of here, inside of a contract. Now, regardless if those coins go up or if it tanks tomorrow, your NFT buck will always be worth $10, $20, $1,000. Whatever you own, it doesn't matter what happens. How crazy is that? So when you go to buy something, you don't have to worry about the price going up and down or losing money. If you have to buy something right now, you don't have to worry. If you don't spend it, you can just cash it in for USDC later and get your money back. Okay. That's cool. Or you can hold on to that thing and that thousand dollar NFT buck could be rare. It might be worth a hundred thousand dollars because it's one of five ever minted. Do you understand? So we created this really cool mechanism. I'm going to show you how this works right now. So if I want to stake Shang Tsung, I buy some NFT bucks, I put it in my wallet. And now that I have NFT bucks in my wallet, I can go ahead and check out. So this is what the checkout looks like. Okay, here's the, the INFT I'm going to buy. Great. It says add bucks here to purchase. All right. So it, over here is my wallet. It shows all the bucks that I have in my wallet that I just bought. Right. So I have $10,000 worth of NFT bucks in my wallet. So I can choose step one, a denomination. Let me just choose some Steve Jobs bucks here. And then I can choose the design. So maybe I have different designs in here. Maybe I have some designs I don't want to spend. So that's why you can literally just go through here and choose them. Now, what we went for with this technology, I know it looks simple here, but it's quite complicated, is we wanted to make the experience for the new person as simple as just reaching in your pocket and grabbing cash. You notice we're not talking about crypto. Everything is in dollars. It's a $1, a $10, a $20, whatever. It's very, very simple. So if I want to spend this $1, you can see, all right, this song, I'm going to stake $1, but it's red, meaning I have no bucks in my cart. I can't check out. I can't do anything yet. So I'm going to add $1 to my cart. So it adds a dollar. And for this example, it added two just to show you what would happen. This button then turns green because I have $2. And because I added more than what I needed, it just upped my staking amount to two bucks. Okay. And you can take those out and you can put them back and do whatever you want. You can spend as much as you want. Okay. And then you can go through this checkout process. It is the very first NFT-based checkout process that uses crypto underlying that's stabilized. Uh, it really is quite something, all right? Now, the last piece I'm going to show you is how you actually track this. What happens after you do this? So let's say you find a, a song that you want to stake or you're a fan of, of somebody's intellectual property. Once you buy that, 
you have something called Stake Hub. And this is the first place where you can actually see what's under the hood of an NFT. This is not available anywhere. We literally built this from scratch, you guys. It was a monster. Um, but I'll show this to you for the first time because I haven't shared this yet. I don't even think, Peter, you guys have seen this yet. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. All right, so this is Stake Hub. Okay, so when you go to Stake Hub, um, you guys can see my screen, I hope. Um, so Stake Hub is like your reporting center. It shows your portfolio. It's where you manage all these cool things. So you can see in here how much royalties you receive from all your INFTs, how much you've cashed out from all your royalties, uh, what's available and how much that token growth is. Because remember, you're paid out in these royalties from all this different stuff that happens. And, and Dwayne will come on and explain more about the, the economics of this. But energy might go up. So if you're paid, say, $15,000 in royalties, maybe energy went up today and you made an extra 4,000 just in the increase in value of the coin because of everybody else buying. Okay, so you can see how that growth is. And uh, um, you can see all the different INFTs listed that you've you know, you've basically purchased and how much royalties you're making on each one. All right. And then you can say, okay, I want to see which ones I stake. So here's all the, for example, here's all the different INFTs I staked for Shang. Shang, you're popular on here today. Um, so I can check out all the different ones. So let's look at this INFT. I want to see how it's doing. I spent $4,000 on this one. So I check it out. It shows all the contract address stuff. It shows how much I've made in royalties on just her song. Uh, how much the token has grown um, underlying there, how much I've cashed out of this already, um, and how much is available to cash out, okay? And it shows a chart. Um, there's different royalties that you can earn. First one is your IP royalties. This comes from the artist. So if her song goes number one and she starts making uh, licensing revenue on that song, she shares a piece of that with you because you have that INFT. Uh, licensor royalties or fan royalties are you get to make a piece from the whole community of all the fans. So when people stake, there's a percentage that goes to all the fans, which is amazing. So you can click that and it'll show you the stats for that. And then also referral royalties. If you send people to her song and they decide to stake from your link, you get a royalty from that as well. It's pretty cool. So you can see all your stats on her INFT here. And if you want to spend that, so if you're getting these royalties and you want to put it back into your INFT to get a higher percentage, you can just put in that amount and add it right back into it. You don't have to buy or do anything. Or you can just cash it out. And you can put in that amount, hit cash out, and it converts it. It takes that royalty, it converts it to US dollar coin and puts it right into your wallet instantly. Right? You don't have to do anything. You just hit a button, literally. It's pretty crazy, you guys. All right. Um, we have a watch list, so you can you can mark certain INFTs if you want to watch them, keep an eye on them. Um, and then we also have an activity screen where you can actually monitor all the activity kind of from one place. All right. So that's basically Stake Hub, how to manage it. Um, you can see the royalties on all your referrals. So, for example, down here, you can say, OK, here's a link that I shared. It had five thousand three hundred forty one visitors. There was four thousand six hundred staked from my link that I sent out. And this is how much I made three grand from that, right? So you can see every every uh, INFT that you share with other people, how much they spend and how much you get out of that. It's pretty cool, right? Now, let me show you the access token. So as you remember, the last piece here is about access. We we're talking about a brand new access economy we're entering. Whether you stake a song or whatever, you can get access to stuff you've never had. It could be backstage passes to a, to a concert, which you guys, you don't have to claim. Right here's the cool part about it. If you know Justin Bieber's coming out with a song and this thing's about to drop on Star Stake, and you stake that thing and you get one of five backstage passes, maybe maybe you're not a Justin Bieber fan, but you know some fans going to want that. You can buy that, get that access token, and you can go to OpenSea or any other marketplace and flip that and sell it for ten times the amount because you have one of five. Do you understand? That's a big deal. This is an asset like asset like a piece of real estate, so you can collect these, use them, find them, get them before anybody else does and sell them for a profit later if you wanted to, or you can redeem them. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can go to your access tokens. Here's an example of just some fake access tokens we put in the system. Um, there's different categories. We have physical product access tokens. So if you stake something, you can get a t-shirt or you can get some kind of merchandise, whatever it is. We have digital access, which could be a website login to somewhere, content, things like that. We have downloadable access, which if you want original artwork or whatever's underlying this access token, uh, you can have that. And then we also have event access tokens, which could give you access to events. And then we also have another one called gifts, which gives you gifts at 
uh, determined times. So I can go ahead and let's just look at this. This is an example of a product access token. I can click on it and it says, okay, WAF limited edition t-shirt gives me product access. I can see an overview about it if I want to click a video. And then, okay, what, how, do I, how do I claim this? How do I get this t-shirt? Okay, I put in my name, my shipping address, my shirt size, and I hit claim now. What that does is it sends a claim order to the person who created this saying, hey, I have this token, give me my shirt. And they say, okay, great, got it. They send you the shirt, they confirm it. And then as soon as uh, you get it, you just hit confirm and the transaction is done. Here's why this is really important. You can choose to claim this shirt or not. If you claim it, your, your, your NFT, your, your access token NFT isn't really that valuable anymore. If you don't claim it, you could sell this saying, hey, I have one of five t-shirts inside of this NFT uh, access token. You could sell it to somebody else who really, really wants that. Or you can just claim it and get what you, you wanted for your reward, okay? So um, this is just an example of a t-shirt and you can have, see, you know, down below is some information about that. Okay, cool. There's this mental health t-shirt, whatever, All right? So these are given out. In, who knows what people will come up with, but um, here's another example of a gift access. Again, a little bit different process, um, you know, completely customizable by the artist. And mind you guys, all this is free. This is a big deal. So when somebody, an artist comes here, they don't have to pay to create an INFT. They don't have to pay to create a profile page. They don't have to pay to create their own NFT bucks. All of that is for free. Why is that possible? How is that possible? Because of energy the underlying financial system is in place so we don't have to charge a monthly fee for this platform it is free for them to go and tokenize their intellectual property because whenever this stuff happens with well, all these transactions that happen internally here that bank that we created benefits just a little bit along the way and that's how it funds this whole ecosystem without having to charge the people that use it it's a it's it's an incredible thing that's the power of decentralized finance okay and again, you can go, go through here and look at your different access tokens. Uh, here's an event access where I can claim this was an event I did with Gary Vee a, a little while back, a few years ago. Um, so I could just literally get access tickets to that event. Um, and then you can see which ones are claimed, where it's at in the process. Okay, claim request was sent, um, all that kind of stuff. So this is Stake Hub. This is the, the behind the scenes stuff. Once you buy this stuff, what do you do with it? How do you interact with it? That kind of thing, okay? so. That's what I wanted to show you for Star Stake. There's one other piece I didn't show you. That's a big one. And that is the Creator Hub. That's where people will go to create the stuff. It's really cool, but that'll be coming here in the next two weeks. And we are positioned to launch this. We're hoping by the end of the month, but uh, it just depends how testing goes. But as soon as this thing launches, I will tell you, you're gonna see a bunch of stars in there, stars you know about um, that we can't uh, disclose right now. Um, but what's going to happen, let me paint a picture and then I'm gonna turn it over to Peter here. What happens if one big artist goes on to Star Stick? What happens when they create an INFT? We already talked to one, they wanna give away Maseratis and all these crazy things and access tokens, I can't believe it, but it's amazing. What happens when that revenue starts flowing through Star Stick? Well, it starts using energy, it starts, remember every transaction uses energy and energy go in there, every one of them, because it uses NFT bucks. Okay, what happens? The price of energy skyrockets. The price of energy go skyrockets. We don't have to market energy and energy go. People are always asking, why don't you guys market these coins? You guys, we don't need to because we're building real world products on top of a financial system that will generate revenue regardless of what's marketed. I would rather build a product that people love to use than to just push and promote a product that's just eventually going to, you know, kind of just uh, dwindle out. All right, so basically what I'm saying to you is one star. Imagine thousands of stars and thousands of people just sharing their IP with others that their fans can participate in and all that revenue. I mean, if OpenSea is doing two, three billion dollars a month, you guys can do the math in your head. If we do 1% of that, 1% of that, every one of us on here right now that holds energy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you have an opportunity to make more money you've ever imagined because of not because you created that IP, not because you have the best YouTube channel, because you introduced a platform to all these people who need ways to monetize their IP that has that literally the only way they can make money is from YouTube directly through ad revenue, which YouTube makes most of, okay, or schlepping other things through sponsored products. It's not fair. It's not good. This fixes all of that. 
and you guys have a, a chance to get a coin and a token that is so grossly undervalued it's insane okay because the world doesn't even know what you guys see right here nobody knows this exists i haven't even talked to gary v yet and he's in my rolodex in my phone i haven't even called him yet okay when that happens you're going to see a huge flux of revenue come through and that directly will affect the financial system which if you're a coin holder in energy and energy go hold on to your hat because you're going to see some things happen that i i can't even explain to you all right so that's all that's all i have for you i hope you enjoyed the demo i'm super excited for star shake to come out we've got astra coming out which is kind of our onboarding that will be out uh, hopefully by uh next week so you can start to learn how to get ready for this but the best thing you can do i'm going to turn it over to peter they'll explain how you guys can kind of position yourself um we are on the last step here guys we are, are right on the doorstep of getting this done so thanks for your time everyone all right thank you so much chris for that presentation you know it really <clears throat> it really created the basis of essentially what this decentralized financial ecosystem brings and you know really the the, the tie-in of how we are going to really merge this um institutional market and bring it into cryptocurrency right through a very seamless process and allow creators to basically really really get involved in this so it's super exciting super exciting and um so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have Dwayne circle back and basically talk a little bit more about the two different coins that we have energy and energy go because one is on ethereum and it's going to be moving over to matic and the second one is on the binance smart chain and he'll be talking about that to you guys and how you can benefit so Dwayne, go ahead awesome 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 guys you see what i'm talking about now why this has the potential to actually be bigger than the stock market itself I mean, all those companies on the stock market have IP and some of them have multiple IPs. Imagine vacation rentals, some new resorts built and you're able to earn a royalty every time somebody purchases to stay at that resort. Imagine fashion, IP on intellectual property on fashion. Imagine on educational courses. And every time somebody purchases that educational course, a royalty is generated. And what's so cool Chris, I, we didn't even tell about this. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and give this little piece because I know you've given this piece in the past. What's so cool is this creates a market because what happens, not only do you get access, not only do you get royalties, but when you purchase the Infinity NFT, you actually get an NFT in your wallet. That NFT allows you to collect those royalties. Now here's what's cool. That, in, that, in, that NFT can be transferred. So maybe you purchased an infinity NFT and intellectual property that was brand new. And then it really takes off and royalties start pouring in. You have the ability to actually sell your stake in that intellectual property by simply transferring your NFT over to the new buyer. And now they collect the royalties. Guys, we've created a market where intellectual property can be traded. And that's why when I say, you know, I truly believe this is going to make a lot of people, especially the early adopters, a lot of money in the beginning. Guys, I don't say that lightly. I really do mean that. That's not to be filled with hype. I want you guys to understand that. 